Hey YouTube and welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn how to add health to your enemies. The scripts used in this video are very simple and easy to understand, so stick with it. If we want to apply health to our enemy, we first have to make an enemy. I'm just going to make a simple enemy which has a cube and with a red material so we can define it as an enemy. Uh, make a new material. I'm just calling it red because we're going to make it red. And apply it. So this will be our enemy. We want to let him follow the player and attack him. And we want to shoot him and after a few clicks he will die. So let me first explain you what we're going to make. We have an enemy and we have a player. On the enemy we want to make a script with a health variable and a function that removes some health of it. We already have a ray cast. If you look at my other tutorial I'm showing you how to make it. From this ray cast we check if it's the enemy we hit and if it's the enemy we call this function we just made in the enemy script. So to do this all, we're just going to add a script to the enemy and just let's call it health script and open it up and we don't have to use these functions, we want to make a wrong function and this will be a public void and let's call it remove health. We also want to receive the amount of damage we want to apply to this. Uh, so we write float and then amount. We also want to make sure we already have a health. So this will be a public float and let's call it health. And we define it as 100. And if we call this function we want to remove this amount from the health so we can say health minus equals amount we also want to check if the health is less than or equal to zero because if this is true the enemy is dead so we want to remove it and for this we use destroy game object so it destroys this instance of the game object and for the first person controller so our player we already made a shoot script let's see where it is bullet spawn yeah here it is we have a shooting script and in the shooting script we use a raycast to check if we hit something and if we hit something we want to instantiate the bullet hole but we don't want to instantiate the bullet hole if we hit an enemy. Because, so we're going to check what we hit. So if we hit the enemy, how are we going to do this? I think the best method is to use a tag for the enemy. And I already made a tag. If you don't have it, go to add tag. And here you can set your own tag. Always remember to assign it. And then we can check if hit dot transform dot tag is equal to enemy. Then we want to do something. And if we don't hit the enemy, we want to instantiate the bullet hole as normal. So if we hit the enemy, we want to call this function. And that's, where is that function? The function is on the enemy itself. So we can just say hit dot transform dot get component to get the script. And the script name is health script. And now we can call the function. 
And the function is remove health. But we have to give the amount. Uh, for that we make a new variable. Just a public float. And call it um, enemy damage. And let's say it's 25. So we got a health of 100. And we deal a damage of 25. So within 4 shots the enemy would be dead. And don't forget to add it here. So if we hit the enemy. We want to execute the function and give the damage. And if we don't hit the enemy but something else. We want to instantiate the bullet hole as normal. So let's see what this does. We got our enemy here, and if you shoot it four times, the enemy will remove itself. But it's not doing anything, it's just standing here, and we want to make it follow the player. Uh, for that we make another script, to keep everything organized. So we go to the enemy, add component, and we call it follow player. Or maybe attack player. We first want to know where the player is. And to do this we make a private ver private variable. Uh, transform. And let's call it player. And in the start we want to find it. Player equals. Game object dot find. And what is the name? The name is first person controller. You can just rename this if, if you want. So find this object and get the component the transform. And in the update, we say transform dot look at. And where do we want to look at? At the player. And then we want to move the enemy to the player. So we say transform dot position equals vector3 dot move towards. And what do we want to move? We want to move the transform that position towards the player dot position and we give the speed let's say five times time dot delta time so this should move the player the, the enemy towards our player It's going a bit fast now. So let's say 2. And then we want to check if it hits the player. And there is an already made function for that. And it's called on trigger enter. And here we can ask for a collider. Let's say order. And here we want to say if other dot collider dot name is equal to this first person controller. Bit cute. Then we want to restart the game because the player has failed. Application at low level zero. If we want to execute this function, 
we have to make sure that we already assigned this scene to the build settings. Now you could do that by add current. So now you can see the index is zero. So this function should load the same scene. And let's see if this works. So the enemy is following us. If you shot it four times, it dies. And if you don't shoot it, hey, it doesn't work. Why is that? Oh, we forgot to set is trigger on the enemy. And now it should work. Still not. Oh, yeah, it works. It takes some time. I don't know why that is, but it reloads the scene. So, area of your enemy. And you can duplicate your enemies as much as you want and place them wherever you want. So, if you want to make multiple enemies, you can just duplicate that by Ctrl D or at the Mac, Command D. So if this tutorial helps you, please subscribe and like this video, it helps me a bunch. Also if you have a tutorial in mind, which doesn't exist, please let me know, I can consider on making it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.